Welcome to the bright lights, glitz and glamour of the northwest corner of the Melbourne CBD where the judicial precinct meets the seedy strip clubs. But more importantly, where the best of the best have gathered to display dazzling dexterity and determination. The title of Game Night Champion is up for grabs. It's simple mathematics. One game plus four players divided by three rounds equals 27 and a half blistering minutes of ball busting action, all leading to one person's dream of becoming tonight's champ. It's Connect Four on Game Night here on Channel 31. A Golden Gibbo winner, yes? Community television personality? You betcha. But not many people know of Laura Davis's career as a professional gamer. Joining the competitive board game circuit as a prodigious 12-year-old, she surprised onlookers with a rare talent amongst Connect Four Pro players. She can use both hands. Wow. She'll be one to watch tonight and certainly tough to beat, I think, even with one hand tied behind her back. Our only male competitor tonight is Simon Keck. Simon made headlines last year after his self-elimination from the 2014 World Twister Open in Dubai. Citing a recurring knee injury and courting accusations of illegal substance abuse, Keck's career was in tatters and he fled to Argentina, where he set about rebuilding his reputation. Still, he's likely to do well tonight, uh, particularly if he's been juicing. And we suspect he has. Nellie White has not played a round of Connect Four for almost 10 years, Dave. Can't believe it. Swearing to never pick up a red or blue chip after an unfortunate accident involving her training partner and their Swedish coach, Bjorn Bringelson. No one but Nellie knows I should say exactly what happened on that fateful day, and no one likely ever will. But she knows. Oh, oh she knows. Mm. And finally, Claire Sullivan a third generation professional board game athlete. She's here tonight to prove to the world she can follow in her father and grandmother's footsteps. Oh. Desperate to step out of the shadow of the great Sullivans who have come before her, Claire has to prove tonight. Can she? Will she? Won't she? Who knows? All I know is I'm Dave Warnke, filling in for Toby Halligan. And I'm Shane Dunlop, filling in for and wearing Nicolette Minster's jacket. Mm. Here to guide you through one more big night before next week's huge Grand final day. Woo! Can't wait. Okay, well, let's not muck around, Dave. Let's get straight into the action. I reckon. Kat, can arena. you hear us? Uh, yes, yes, receiving you loud and clear here in the game night arena. Welcome to tonight's game where we were going to be playing two incredible, challenging, fascinating rounds of Connect Four, followed by a mystery game which we've played by Ooh. the champions of those two rounds. <sighs> now, you oh, may wow. notice something different tonight. Not only am I uh, relaxed and refreshed after an incredible holiday in the Philippines, I'm joined here by our game night hunk, whose visa is currently processing. His name is Sergey. He only speaks the language of love and he will only be speaking it to me tonight. Oh, Sergey, wow. wave. Can you wave to the... Wave to... Oh, pretty special down here. Oh, hello, so, Sergey. Yes, well, welcome back, Kat, and welcome to Australia, Sergey. Well, he's not speaking to us, Dave. No, that's that's that's. Only fine. Well, I think they're waiting to kick things off now. The hunk has walked through, uh, and if I may say so, from my vantage point, I think Sergey might be in the top five hunks top we've had oh. on game night. I would say that he's not just hunk, but a mega hunk. A mega hunk. Oh, I'd like uh, to connect four with him. If uh, you know well, what I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, what's going on? There was something. I think that was, that was a bit of a warm up. A bit of a warm up. Okay. Now, ladies, have you decided which amongst you will be making the first move tonight? Oh. Oh. Um. I'm not ashamed to say that when it comes to making the first move, I'm never shy, as Sergey will definitely tell you. Ooh. Look, Hello, I've got this extra stool. <laughs> which so, is not for Sergey, he will not be joining you. Yeah, so that means that I get to go first. All right, you can go okay, first. So All right. Claire's yeah. decided, she's decided for Laura, oh, essentially, that she'll be kicking off. Oh, straight in the middle. Oh, now, traditionally, a game of Connect Four doesn't right, last very right long. Now. So, All right. All right. We'll see the well, well, Laura's three already. moves in under yeah. 10 seconds. Uh, I don't remember the how the rules are. You have to get four in a row. Oh, like that? Yeah. Oh, you and did me! Yeah, and then I'm supposed to like do yeah. Oh, and then I try and stop what you. I'm yeah. About Laura's, ah, shit. Uh, See, Claire seems like as if she's just going in head first, whereas Laura seems very much reserved. Um, you can see in her not. eyes. Crap. She's planning. She's she's cool, calm, she's collected. 
Oh, as yeah, you can see. I, I do like how the water's floor is playing this. It's... Nah, that's a bad move. Nah, it's a good one. Nah, it's a bad one. Oh, shit. It's a pretty hard uh, What are you doing? What do you mean? Diagonal. She's got oh, four. Can you that? four? I don't no. believe it. The game oh, is right already there. over. Oh, my gosh. We have a winner, Laura Davis in the red, uh, in record time, Dave. Wow, that I think that, that must be at least an Australian record. It's, uh, well, I would like to look it up. Can we get our stats people to look this up? Please. Is this at, is at the very least an Asia-Pacific record? I think it if, could be a Southern Hemisphere. Wow. Well, I mean, that is it. We are already off to round two. God, the warm-up took three times as long as the actual game. That's what this game is all about. Well, you know, Once it gets going, you can't stop. It's like a ball rolling down a hill. Claire Sullivan's career on Game Night is over as She's quickly done. as it began. Right. Uh, stick around for more Game Night action. Dave, who's coming up next? We've got Simon Keck v Nellie White. We'll see you after the break. Kat, are you there? Oh. Let's get things going. Yes, I'm I'm here. I'm trying to stay present in the room, not get lost in the beautiful blue eyes of my beautiful game hunk, Sergey, tonight. Oh, Sergei. She's really in love. Mm. We've got two incredible players for you today. Sergey, do what we talked about. The, the walking. Oh, there he goes. What are your what's your early thoughts here like with this with this matchup, Dave? Well, I'm <laughs> Immediately drawn to the fact that they've both worn a matching colour <laughs> to the game board itself. Well, I would say to... they're wearing Connect 4 blue. I, I think that, to... yeah, I think I think they're trying to camouflage themselves, become the board, sort of distract their opponent a little bit before they can pounce in there, and we can put our Connect 4 tokens. Right. Well, there's an air of anticipation here in the Game Night Arena. Players, by which methodology have you decided to determine who will be the beginning player? Well, Simon Keck earns more than me for the same job, so we've determined that I should go first. So, we're going to be addressing gender imbalance down here in the game night arena, and Nellie White will be starting the game. Nellie, you know the rules, you know what to put and where to put it, which is nothing anywhere near Sergey. I'm going to say it again. Hands and eyes on the Connect 4 board, let's play. All right, straight in the middle, it's a traditional technique yep. known as the slam dunk. Classic power move. That controls the whole space. Once you get the middle. Ah, oh, to the right. Next door to each other, That's straight in. Tight. <laughs> now are we are we predicting as fast a game as we saw in round one, Dave? No, I feel like they're they're yeah. two probably sl more slower moving yeah. players. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> They are doing more trash talk, which, uh, which right, is interesting. And different, it's just interesting how the styles of all the different players uh, can vary. Yeah, absolutely. And every now and then someone just comes out of nowhere, new styles, <laughs> bang, they've won the championship. That's a good commentary. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> I put a thing in the thing. Uh, over here. Yeah. Um. Come on. Come on, bro. Not Where are you at now? I'm um, thinking strategy. I'm thinking winning. <laughs> I'm thinking... Stay positive. Not a loss. That's what I'm aiming for. It's good. It's good. Oh. The magic continues. <laughs> Force me into doing that. Connect forced you. <laughs> Dave, do you, are you familiar with what happens when no one connects four? I Sadly, mean, it's possible. Yeah, it is possible. You can fill up the whole board, no one connects four, you just have to empty the tray, you have to go again. I mean, it doesn't happen so that often. These, these guys are so good that it doesn't happen that often. And I'm just playing defensively now, like in an argument about my mother. <laughs> You've panicked. You don't even know what you're doing anymore. Yeah. Uh, mm. Nor do I. There's the hunk floating in the background. So, okay, getting a little bit close to Nelly. If you've yeah. Saw I'm not sure how Cat's going to feel about that. I have already lost, <laughs> except... Uh, but, but let it happen so I can taste it. Double! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm getting the sense that Simon is ready to pounce. Am ready I right? I think that just might be true. He's being sucked in by the trash talk from Mr. Kerr. Oh, it's amazing. There's got to be something I can do. Life can't just be this uneven. No, this is the perfect example of life. <laughs> you are screwed no matter what you do. Oh, white male privilege. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I get paid more. That's terrible. Uh, <coughs> he's done it. He's done it. He has oh, done it. The signature guns. What, uh, now, what's coming up next? Well, well after we the break. away the surprise game. Well, I think, I'm not sure. It's up to you, Shane. What are you thinking? Well, Let's do it. After the break, Laura Davis v Simon Keck, and it's a game of... Kaplunk! Oh, an absolute classic board game. You're watching Game Night. Welcome back to the Channel 31 studios. You're watching Game Night. Now, Dave, we wow. are in our final round. It's the grand final round. It's only the best versus the best. Absolutely. It's Laura Davis versus Simon Keck. So the winner of tonight's uh, Game of Kaplunk will take home something from our prize showcase. Dave, what would you like to take home? Now, you've played uh, Game Night before. That's right. Uh, uh, I, don't that's right. And I don't want to bring it up, but uh, if, you can't, if you can't play board games... Commentate, as I like to say. Well, yeah, that's absolutely lost on the right. first ever episode, uh, giving up the chance of winning the Murder, She Wrote board game. And that's what your choice would have been. That's what it would have been, but it's not there anymore, obviously. Okay. So I think I'll just take the, the classic Neighbours game. Oh, OK. It's what a nice choice. Uh, look, I'm, I'm a, a big fan of the uh, Mr Pop, uh, oh, just yes, for the yes, name yes. It's, uh, itself, really, for no other reason. Uh, perhaps we'll get down to the ring. Uh, Kat, are you there? Hello, Kat. No. Sergey's there, but... Sergey? Hey. Hey, Sergey, are you there? Yeah, yeah, Kat, um... We had some, uh, disagreements. So she's, uh... She's not with us. So, I'm, sorry, Sergey, you just... We were told you were Russian, you don't sound very Russian at all. Yeah, you do what you can do to get ladies, you know? You know what I mean, Shane. Uh, so... You're not Russian, Sergey. No, nah, um, nah, from Brisbane, mate. Oh, okay. That's slightly less exotic. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, um, that's unfortunate that the cat's left. Uh, do you mind sticking around and refereeing uh, this last game? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, this is unconventional, but why not? Yeah, he's a man of very few words, Sergio. Absolutely. That's probably it how he got away with being yeah. pretending to be Russian. So, uh, Sergey, if you can kick things off in the studio, let's get things going with Simon Keck versus Laura Davis. Okay, round three. <laughs> All right, so we have to put these sticks in. Yeah. And someone's commentating, so we don't have to talk too much. Sweet, that's awesome. All right, let's do this a bit quickly. With, is there, do you have a strategy? Uh, I've never played Kaplunk before, ever. So I, I have no haven't idea. played since I was a kid. Well, you get like double hand, I call well, it. Well, I haven't played since I was a kid, but they just explained the rules to me, and uh, I feel like maybe I've never played it correctly. Yeah, from what I can tell, it's like pubes in a drain pipe. Like <laughs> the water's not going down, so you pull all the gunk out, and then the marbles come out. Uh, uh, uh. It's very much like, uh, well, a version, early version of Jenga, in a way. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. you've got that falling element, but it is contained to the tube. Into the tube. It's slightly less dangerous than Jenga. Have you seen a show on Channel 31 called uh, The Mr. Yeah. Sink Show, Dave? Yes, I have seen The Mr. Sink, The Plumbing yeah. Show. Oh, I yes. bet you they'd be massive oh, Kaplunk fans. They'd be up for this. The pipe? They're all about those pipes. They can't get is there enough. any strategy to this part? There must be. I don't know. I'm I think really there struggling. is strategy to this part. Oh, to answer Simon's question, I think there definitely is strategy because uh, you're going to want to know the maze that you're setting up Absolutely. because you're going to be going through that maze in just a second. Because it's not just about going from parallel holes from one side to the other. No, no, no. It's not just you can cross go You can go up diagonal. Ways. You can go down. It's Absolutely. all kind of things. And I think that's what they're starting to notice here. I think Laura is well, attempting to wedge to one in there. It, God, okay, I hate she to got it in there. hate to see her cook a spaghetti bolognese. Absolutely. <laughs> if you pardon the pun there. So they're not far off being ready to play. Uh, in fact, they're... Oh, yeah. They're, they're almost there. This is serious. So I'm, I'm not sure who, who, I, who I put my money on. 
I don't know. Simon seemed to be very calm with the setup there. He seemed to know what he was doing. Laura was saying she couldn't get them in, so maybe she hasn't played in a long time. Absolutely. And I think, as well, from judging from Simon's first uh, game of Connect Four, he's got a very. Uh, his, his approach to the mind games has been interesting. Mm, that's right. Yeah, we'll see if he can use his mind games with Laura. Well, it's facing me, so should I, I go first? Yeah, sure. See Laura's she... taking the first move here. Now, uh, she's dropped the already, already, already one more. That's a bad first. sign. Oh, uh, no, we, we can... Spin this, yeah. Ooh. This bit? Yeah, yeah. So part, this is also a part of this game, an important part of this game, is the rotation of the tube to face the other player. Because often you can pull a stick out, Dave, and no marbles drop. But in the process of rotating it back around, mm. you dislodge a marble, the whole game can be over. Oh, it is, it is kaplunk. Yeah, I can't catch a break! Laura's dropped two marbles in two turns. See if Simon can keep it up. How, if it, it happens level. during a spin, we just put them back. Yeah. Well, this could be one. He's got a very oh. soft touch. Oh, see, that was. But see, a... that counts as uh, a marble for Simon. What, what's the see? ruling on spins? No, they can go in, spins can go in the two and fours. Well, that's not actually how you play the game, but uh, at this point in time, with Sergey in the room, I don't know if I, just, got a I, I don't think we have here. Uh, we've got no autonomy over this game. Now you can see there's a, a stick there, and Simon's saying Oh yeah, let's do nothing! Oh. Score. I'll hold the thing. That was like yeah. a baby. And now that we're here as a team, which is, is nice to <sighs> see in a way. Uh, well, working as a team is not going to win you that Neighbours game, I can tell you that much. Absolutely. Who was your favourite classic uh, Neighbours character, Dave? Classic Neighbours character? Well, I must admit that I've uh, I never really watched the show, and that's why I hope to uh, play the board game. Okay. So I get to know them. To learn from through the board game. Through the board game. Then yeah. on to that's how I like to go. I, um, I uh, start with the board game, then move on to the movie. That's how I play Cluedo, then watch the Cluedo movie. It was a perfect well, combo. Well, very similarly, the same with Battleship. Uh, I read Spaceballs the movie, uh, the novelisation of that, before I saw the movie itself. Uh, and I think I did the same with Lethal Weapon 2. Oh, we think alike. Ah. We think alike. Living dangerously. Mm, they certainly are, this game. There's a bit of chaos in this now. <laughs> you can have an eye out if Laura gets too close to that She's stick. She's getting in there. Oh, okay. Keep wow. the rhythm going. He's spinning, spinning like a roulette wheel now. Yeah, he's showing some recklessness. I think he's getting a little ahead of himself. Oh, no, that's oh, right. Because yeah. obviously the more sticks you pull out, the harder it gets. Okay, it's getting intense now. What I like about this game is Kaplunk. Oh, no. And can we see how many... Are we able to get a close-up on how many marbles have dropped? Yeah. No. Well, this is we, we might be... get a look at that later. I think from here I on think out, it's. I'm counting about seven marbles no from, oh. from this vantage point, and that's. It's got to be almost a third of the marbles in there. I think so. It's going to be, unless Simon really pulls up here, it's going to be hard to. Beat. It's going to be hard to beat. Oh. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> feel that summer super tight. Oh. He's got another one. Oh. Now that technically should be Simon's marble. Uh. As, all, as all of those. <laughs> yeah. oh, technically dear. didn't count how many fell in there. I reckon it was like that many. Ah. <laughs> Laura's really cutting her break here. Laura really? has <laughs> left the window wide uh. open to allow Simon to walk away with this yeah. We're going to need game. some serious refer referees on this one. Nice. His hand uh, At this point, I, I just can't see how Simon loses with those extra marbles falling and not counting. Not counting. No, Laura's on this seven. Simon well, there's good. one for Simon. Boo boo. <laughs> oh dear. This is make or break stuff for Laura Davis now. She's gotten Ooh. away with it. Wow. <laughs> so quickly. Hey! Now see, that is... Sergey, are you there, Sergey? I like that they're all happening on your chair. <laughs> yes. I, I just feel like we've, we've allowed Simon oh, to get away with disrupting one. too many marbles. Can we give Simon Keck a three marble penalty before Laura takes her next turn? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Oh. <laughs> Is that okay? That seems fair to yeah. me. Can you, uh, okay. uh, Sergey, can you please uh, give us a count? 
Uh, it's actually Rick. Sergey was just the, the made-up name I, I used to get with Kat. Uh, well, Rick, can you yep. can you give us a count, please, on on where the tallies lie? Uh, there's uh, plenty you can get right now. Mm. Laura's got seven marbles, and uh, mm. Simon's got um, uh, three. I had three. Ten, uh, ten, twelve. Um, yeah, oh, I've never heard of someone more sure than Sergey. Or Rick right now. <laughs> Rick, Rick, I, I, Rick, I think this game has descended yeah. into. Uh, so um, maybe maybe I should. That's probably a bit fairer now, right? So, uh, Sergey, are you trying to put an even oh. amount of each? What? Just trying to even it up there, were you, Sergey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well I think we okay. might be. Uh, we might leave it there for the penalties. It's coming down to the last few sticks. Okay, they're all holding them up, aren't they? Yeah, I think this is kaplunk time. But maybe one will hold less. No. I guess I'll pick that one. <laughs> We've only got two marbles left. And they're going to be Laura's. And that yeah, is it. Uh, we have a winner. Simon Keck, Dave, is tonight's champion. Oh, look at him. Look at the yeah. excitement yeah. in his That's eyes. Right. To the right. oh, oh, look at that. From the Russian bear, oh, Sergei. Oh. I'm wow. glad I didn't win. Yeah, that was, that was not fun at all. Uh, I feel like Simon was always going to win tonight. And we yes, did refer right. to his uh, substance abuse, uh, the but legal... We did allude, allude to that. Um, he will be taking a urine and blood test after the show, though. So, uh, so short of any uh, infractions there with WADA and the uh, the governing bodies of the International Board Game Association, Simon Keck will be moving on to our grand final, which will be taking place next week. Dave, are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't believe it's obviously... One of the, the people there is someone that beat me, so I'm, all I hope is that they will not be. Well, that. Matt Stewart could take it all and, uh, and do it without actually technically winning any games, which is how he got there in the first place. Oh, very controversial it was. So we're going to go in the ring and uh, allow Simon to choose his board game of choosing. Is that how you say it, Dave? Oh, I'm absolutely. Sense. I think so. I think that your English is impeccable. Nearly as good as Sergei's. Exactly. Let's get in there. Well, that's it for another fantastic week here at Game Night. There's only one left to go, and that is, of course, the grand final next week. But before that, we have to award this week's winner, Shane. Simon Keck uh, was our winner tonight. Simon, come forward. Yes. You get to choose a game from our prize showcase. What have you chosen? Uh, I grew up in a poor family, and I always wanted Operation, and you have Operation. Operation oh, it is. Game Let's Night, just, making uh, dreams come true. Time to bring forward the game. Oh, so round of applause for tonight's champion. We'll see you next week for the big grand final. Till then, good Good night, night, Australia. Australia.